for telling your followers that you started a live video. Hi, Isa. Hi, Charlene. Welcome, guys. Thank you for showing up today. So we just have a couple of minutes more. And uh, before we begin, get your mats ready, your props. Hi, Keith. Um, please let me know if you can hear me, like um, thumbs up. If I'm clear. <laughs> Who's here? Farah, Apple. Hi, John. Okay, so it seems like you guys can hear me. Um, my son is here with me, Troy, who will be joining us. Um, he'll do the best as he can to follow along. And for those who are in Facebook, um, welcome to Hiya the Jingle. All the way from New York. Hi, True Compass. <laughs> I hope the whole gang is there. <laughs> All right. It's already time, everyone. All right, so um, again, welcome, and thank you for joining me today. Uh, for those who are new to me, my name is Bernadette, and this is Vinyasa Yoga. Um, I'd like to really thank you for showing up in your practice, for taking the time to move your body. Um, in this time of isolation, as you know, that we get caught up with so many things, like binge watching, probably Netflix like me, um, your tic TikTok or whatever social media you may have, but know that it's actually very important to like move your body. Um, yoga is not just a good way to like keep you healthy um, physically, but also it calms your mind and um, it's for your mental and emotional well-being. So thank you for showing up. Um, I appreciate your presence and know that by collectively gathering, even virtually, um, with your breath, we're able to like, you know, move us one, and uh, this is something that we need during this time. All right, so, um, hi Ka. Anyway, thank you for ev everyone who's here again, and um, if you don't have your mats yet, like grab them, because we will begin, and like whatever props you may have, and maybe water bottle if you need like to hydrate along the way. All right, so um, we'll actually start um, in a seated position. So find a comfortable seat where you're able to um, rest comfortab comfortably on your sitting bones. Um, if you need to sit a, a little bit higher, you can use a book or you can sit on a stool. Like in the Philippines, we usually have a stool. So if you need to sit comfortably like so, so your back can stay nice and long, do that. Okay, otherwise, um, simply relax down to the floor. Okay, let your shoulders melt down and start to close your eyes to bring yourself inward. Love the music. No, no, it went into the, it changed to the computer. Okay, relax your shoulders now, sorry about that. And then let your hips settle. And from there, like as your hips start to settle down to the earth, 
pulses start to settle your shoulders. We carry a lot of tension there. Start to open them up. And start to lengthen all the way up towards the crown of the head. Like think there's someone pulling okay, from the pit, your navel all the way up towards your crown. And then from there, create length from the spine and grounding through your sitting bones. Let's breathe together collectively. Take a big inhale through your nose. And exhale, sigh, empty it out through your mouth. One more time, deep breath in. And exhale, release all the tension out through your mouth. And just continue to deep, to make that deep, full breath. Starting to like inhale and exhale through the nose to create that internal heat. And for today's practice, I'd like to invite you to bring your attention to your breath. The breath is um, the perfect way to actually anchor us, to keep us present, to stay connected with our bodies. So for today, simply bring your attention back to your breath, back to your body. And that's our way to stay present and focused. Okay, one more time, deep breath in. And exhale, empty it out. And slowly release your head down towards your thighs and just let go of the head and gently crack the eyes open and just allow the gaze okay, in between your legs, your mat and again start to connect back to your breath and your body and gently roll your chin up and then lift your arms up over your head Interlace your fingers, turn your palms up towards the ceiling, lift all the way up. Okay, bring the navel and the ribs up, take an inhale, exhale, twist to your right. Okay, and then left hand top of your knee, right hand behind you. And then inhale back to the center, release your arms up over your head, exhale, twist to the other side. Okay, we'll do that one more time, inhale back to the center, exhale, twist. And then inhale, center, exhale to the other side. Okay, and the next one will hold, inhale, center. I hear Troy's back cracking, so maybe you have that too. Okay, and then use the leverage of your arms to turn your chest towards the back of the room. Okay, use your breath to inhale, create length, and to exhale, revolve your ribs towards the back. Okay, keeping your hips nice and steady down to the floor. Okay, inhale back to the center, arms up over your head, and then exhale to the other side. So twists are actually good to unwind the spine, especially all the sitting that we do nowadays. So find that time to actually twist whenever you can. Okay, and then inhale back to the center. Okay, and then switch legs, other leg on top. Good, and just side bend to your left side. Okay, let your head be heavy, top arm heavy. You may bend your bottom elbow. And then let the head be heavy as you release your right arm to the side and just feel the stretch of the side of your neck. Maybe you bring your head forward and then back and feel where you need the stretch. Like we carry also a lot of tension in our neck. Okay, let the head go. And then roll your chin in back to the center, arms up over your head. Exhale, side bend to the other side. Okay, let the left hip be heavy. Ground it down so that you lengthen from the sides of the ribs all the way up towards your arm. Okay, head heavy, release the left arm to the side, and again, feel, let it hover, and feel the length of the side of the neck, and maybe move your head so that you feel where you need it. Okay, hold, and then roll your chin in back to the center. Okay, and then bring yourself to tabletop, hands and knees down to your mat. I'll take off my jacket. Um, so one straight arm, one straight line from the arms and your wrists, and your knees are below your hips. So we'll do classic cat-cow here. So it's starting to synchronize to the movement. Inhale, lift your chest, shoulders back. Exhale, round, navel in. Maybe gaze on your navel, push the floor away. Inhale, heart forward, lengthen, shoulders back, drop your belly. Exhale, round, curl the tailbone. Okay, gaze and spread your shoulder blades. Okay, do this a few more rounds with the breath. 
Yeah, you're moving the body and the breath simultaneously. If you want to make circles here with your hips, do that. You may close your eyes to really feel. So now, right now is the, the time that we have to practice, to move, to feel. So take advantage of this time. And then one more round. And then back to the center, big toes touch, knees apart, hips back. Let this be an active child's pose. So let the head drop, let the hips be heavy, and then crawl your hands forward really as far as you can forward that your arms are straight. Let, let the hips be heavy and feel your arms lengthen with the sides of the ribs. And your elbows are not touching the floor here. You may tend to your fingers and really feel as you walk your hands forward and your hips are nice and heavy. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, sigh it out. Okay, now plant all 10 fingers down to the floor. Spread your fingers wide. Lift your hips. Curl the toes downward facing dog. Your first down dog for this practice. You may pedal your feet, bend one knee, straighten the other. Do what's needful, sway your hips. So start to warm up the back of your legs here. And while you're doing that, just pay attention to your hands too. Like ground all 10 fingers down to the floor. Okay, especially index and thumb, wrap your outer arms and keep the spine nice and long, okay? So now steady your legs with both heels away from the floor, move your chest a little bit more towards your thighs, your spine lengthens, press your thighs back a little bit more. Now inhale, ripple forward to your plank position, straight arms, okay, move your feet back if you need to, tailbone to your heels, crown of the head forward, exhale, hips up and back, down dog. Okay, one more time, inhale, shift forward to plank. And then exhale, hips up and back. All right, inhale, shift forward to plank, and then you lower all the way down to the floor. Hug the elbows in, all the way down. Okay, tops of the feet down, move your hands back the side of your ribs. Inhale to your cobra, shoulders back. And then exhale, release. Inhale again, cobra. If you're coming up to up dog, straighten your arms, lift your chest, shoulders back, thighs up. Exhale, flip the toes, downward facing dog, hips back. Okay, now start to walk your feet to your hands. If you can keep your legs straight, as straight as you can, or you may start to bend the knees, that's okay. Feet are hip width apart, inhale, flat back halfway. And then exhale, fold into your breath. One more time, inhale, flat back. And then exhale, fold. Okay, bend your knees now to your chair pose. Okay, so in chair, you bring the weight back to your heel. See if you can make your toes a little bit lighter. Bring the ribs and the navel in, okay? And then lengthen all the way up towards your fingers, okay? Okay, keep breathing. Shoulders move back, hips low. And then exhale, fold forward, empty your breath. Okay, inhale, halfway heart forward. Exhale again, bend your knees to your chair. Okay, three breaths here. Knees are not together, feet are not together. Okay, lengthen the side ribs, straighten your arms, and then ground your feet, lift all the way up to stand. Palms to your heart. And just pause here, just for a few breaths. Gather back to the center. Feel your body, feel your breath. And really root your feet down to the floor, anchor it to the earth, so that you can find length all the way up toward the crown of the head. As you bring your palms together, press them together and broaden across your chest. Let's take a breath together, take a big inhale. And then exhale, empty it out. You're flowing now, inhale, lift the arms up over your head. And then exhale, hinge from the hips, you fold forward, empty the breath. You can bend your knees. Inhale, halfway, heart forward. Exhale, fold, empty the breath. Inhale, you lengthen. Okay, step your left leg back, big step. Okay, front knee above of the ankle, inhale, low lunge, lower your back knee. Okay, good, bring your hips slightly forward, lift your frontal hip bones up, release your right hand down, just side bend to the left, hug the right hip in, and then inhale back to the center. Okay, exhale, hands go down to the floor, step your right leg back plank. Okay, exhale to your chaturanga, you may lower your knees, I'll lower my knees, hug the elbows in, bend halfway. Inhale to your back bend, cobra or up dog, lift your chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Grow the hands, lift the hips. Okay, inhale, lift your left leg up. Open it out, bend it. Okay, press your right thigh back, lift your left knee higher. 
On your exhale, bring your knee to your nose, round your back, push the floor, shift forward, way forward. Inhale, lift the left leg back up. Exhale, knee to nose, round, step your foot all the way through. Lower your right knee back and down to the floor. Inhale, low lunge on the other side. Okay? Frontal hip bones lifted, tailbone down. Release your left hand down, side bend to your right. So you're stretching from the right side of the hip to your side ribs, maybe your hip flexor too. Good, inhale back to the center. Exhale, hands go down to the floor. Step your right foot forward. Okay, inhale halfway. And then exhale, fold empty. Bend your knees to your chair. One breath, exhale, fold. Inhale halfway, right leg will step back. Okay, big step. Coming to high lunge, around your feet, inhale, high lunge. Okay, this time scissor the thighs, right hip forward, left hip back. Okay, ground your feet, bring your hands behind you, interlace your fingers, and then inhale, open your chest. Broaden, good, and then inhale, center, lift. Exhale, release your right hand down, twist to the left. Okay, for some of you, you can stay here, work on that twist, back thigh lifted, Maybe some of you can bring yourself into side plank. Right palm down to the floor. Shift the weight into the right palm, outside edge of your right foot. Stack the legs on top of each other. Stack the hips or keep that right foot forward for a variation. And any variation for those doing in side plank here for doing twists, twist your chest up to the ceiling. Good. Now release the top arm over the head and then down to the floor. Find yourself back to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, breathe fully. Inhale, shift forward to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to your back bend, chest lifted. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your right leg up. Bend it, open it up. Press your left thigh back, right knee higher. Exhale, knee to nose, round your back, shift forward. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, knee to nose, round. Step your foot all the way through. Okay? Ground your feet, high lunge. Inhale. Good. Right hip back, left hip forward. Lengthen all the way up towards your fingers. Good, relax the face, you guys. And then bring your hands behind you, interlace your fingers. Open your chest. Switch the interlace like the weird way. Really open. And notice if you're clenching your jaw, relax your jaw. And then inhale, lift your arms up. And then twist open to the left, release the left hand down. So perfectly stay here if you want. Wrap the right hip, press the left thigh back. Or maybe plant the left palm down. Transition to side plank like so. Or stack the legs, okay? Roll the left shoulder into the socket. Okay, hips stack, legs stack. Okay, any variation you want here, Stay one more breath. Inhale, top arm over the head and then down to the floor. Okay, keep your right foot, if you are in a side plank or in a twist, right foot steps forward and then step your left foot forward. Okay, inhale halfway. And then exhale, fold. Ground your feet, big circle lift all the way up or reach forward and up. Exhale, palms to the heart. Okay, okay legs together, close to each other. Bend your knees to your chair, palms to the heart, okay? Inhale here, exhale, tap left elbow to your right, not holding, inhale, center, exhale to the other side, twist. Inhale again, center, exhale to the right, tap. Inhale, center, exhale to the left. One more, inhale, exhale, tap, center to the left. Are you okay, Troy? Good. Inhale, center, fold forward. Inhale, halfway. Step or hop back to your chaturanga. Take your time. Yes, okay. And then inhale to your back bend. Chest lifted, thighs up. If you're doing up dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Okay, I'll come out of the pose so I can teach and then you watch Troy. Okay, now inhale, lift the right leg up. Bend it, open it out. Good. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose, round your back. Inhale, lift the right leg back up. Exhale, knee to the right triceps, tap. Good, inhale, lift the right leg back up. Exhale, step it all the way through. Turn the back heel down at an angle, and then windmill your arms to your warrior two. Okay, 
front knee is bent, back leg is straight, front knee is bent. <laughs> Bring your arms up over your head. Then keep your chest nice and open, hinge forward. Turn your chest up towards the ceiling. Arms straight. Think you're like there's a beach ball between your arms. And then roll your heart open so it works your outer hips. Wrap it in. And then press your left thigh back as you're standing, like your back leg. Stay one more breath. <laughs> and then inhale, reverse, straighten your right leg as you reach back. Okay, give it a break. And inhale back to warrior two. Okay, and then this time we'll your hands down to the floor. Pivot, walk towards the left side of the mat. Okay, take an inhale here. You can bend your knees. And then exhale, twist to the right. Open. And then release down to the floor. Inhale, exhale, twist to the left. And then release down to the floor. Inhale, open. You will stay here. Okay, if you have your block, hand on blocks so with a little bit more support. Turn your heart open. Breathe, hug that right hip in. And then release down to the floor. Pause. Other side. Inhale and then exhale, twist to the left. Okay, broaden across your chest here. Do what's needful. Use your exhale to revolve the ribs up and then release down to the floor. Okay, pause. Now walk your hands, bend the knees, walk towards the front. So you're in your lunge position. Grab your block though. <laughs> Good. So back knee lifted. You're in your lunge. Inhale, lengthen the heart forward. Exhale, straighten your right leg. Okay, rebend your right knee. Inhale forward. Chest lifts. Exhale, straighten. One more time. Rebend. Exhale, straighten. Pause here. Okay, work on moving the right hip back so your hips are nice and steady. Left hip forward. Breathe into your right hamstrings. Any amount here. Good, and then bend your right knee, step your left foot forward. Inhale, halfway, and then exhale, fold. Bend your knees to your chair. So we're doing a lot of twists today. Right hand to your right thigh. Take an inhale, and then exhale, hook left elbow to your right. Okay. Press the palms together and then broaden your chest. So twisting prayer. And for those of you who want to do any variation here, you can spread your arms, you can do side crawl, like go ahead, do that for those advanced um, yogis. Okay, other than that, press the palms to broaden your chest, hips down, right hip back, one more breath, and then exhale, you fold forward. Inhale halfway, and then exhale, fold. Okay, we'll have to music. Inhale, lift the arms up over your head. And exhale, palms to the heart. The music. Wait. What happened? All right. And then bring your right knee into your chest. And um, you can keep the right knee bent and then twist to the right like so. Or for some of you, grab the outside edge of your right foot and then twist to the right, okay? So any variation you're able to, ground the left foot, keep the hips nice and steady, and then you turn your ribs towards the right side of the room. Okay, keep breathing here, one more breath. Okay, inhale back to the center, lift the arms up, lift your right knee into your chest and then straighten your right leg. Okay, any amount, press the thigh up, Good, and then make a big step of your right leg back, big step. Heel down at an angle, warrior one, lift up. And the exhale, release your right hand down to the floor. Okay, walk your hands to the right side of the room, right side of the mat, hug the left hip in, release the head down. Just breathe into the outside part of your left hip to your inner thighs, let your head go. One more breath. Okay, walk hands back to the center. Step your left leg back, plank. Okay, take your time to vinyasa here or go straight to down dog, chaturanga, up dog. Okay, go. <laughs> Chest lifted. Exhale, down dog. Stay three breaths in down dog. Okay, gather back your breath. I'll just drink. Okay, ground your hands firmly. Lengthen the spine up and back. 
Okay, if you need to bend the knees so the spine can stay nice and long, do that. Okay, we'll do the other side. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, knee to nose, round your back. Good, inhale, lift the left leg back up. Exhale, knee to the left tricep, so you tap. Good, inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, step your foot all the way through. Turn the back heel down at an angle, windmill your arms to your warrior two. Good, so you bend your front leg, scoop the left hip in. Yes, straighten in your back leg. Arms to over your head, straight in the arms. Exhale, hinge forward, hinge forward. Turn your chest up towards the ceiling. Lengthen all the way up towards your fingers. So you're working your oblique muscles here to hold you. You're working the top, your front leg, left hip, glute. Okay, stay one more breath. And then inhale back to your warrior two. And then reverse, straight in the left leg. Good, inhale back to the center. Good, and then windmill your hands down to the floor. Pivot, walk towards the right side of the mat. Parallel your feet. Hey, this time you bend your knees if you need to. You will grab your right ankle with your left hand. Right hand to your right hip, take an inhale. Exhale, you twist to the right. You may bend the bottom elbow, turn your chest up, maybe right arm reaches towards the ceiling. Okay. So twisting here, grabbing your right leg will give you a little bit more leverage to open. If that doesn't work, that's okay. Broaden. Good, exhale back to the center and wind. Other side, grabbing your left wrist with your right hand. Hi, Jordan. <laughs> and then turn your chest up to the ceiling. Good, you may bend the knee, but hug the left hip in towards the midline. Great, and then back to the center, just dangle here. Let your head go, any tension created from that in your neck, soften. Good, release your hands down to the floor, walk, pivot towards the front of the mat. So you're on your lunge. Hands can go to your blocks if you have it. Otherwise, fingertips down to the floor. Inhale, heart forward. Exhale, straighten your left leg. Inhale, heart forward. Press your right thigh up. Exhale, straighten. One more time. Inhale. And then exhale. Pause here. Drag the left hip back. Right hip forward. Direct your breath to your left hamstring. If you bend your left knee, step your right foot forward. Legs together, inhale, flat back. And then exhale, fold. Bend your knees to your chair. Okay, left hand to your left thigh. Take an inhale, twist to the right. Left, hook. Good, press the palms together. Right hip plugs back into the socket. Okay, press the palms, broaden your chest. So again, so some of you did the arm balance on the other side, side curl on the left, maybe spread your arms. Any variation where you're able to access the twist a little bit deeper, go ahead and do that. Stay for one more breath. And then unwind, inhale, fold, exhale. Inhale, heart forward, exhale, let go. Okay, ground your feet, lift all the way up to stand. And the exhale, palm to the heart. Okay, other side, left knee in. Okay, option to again, bring your right hand to the outside of the foot, twist to the left with your ribs, or grab the outside edge of your left foot, reach it forward, and then roll your heart open. So the key here is to keep your hips nice and steady facing forward. So your twist is coming from the ribs. So you ground the bottom foot, press the right thigh back, and in turn, if you're wobbling, totally okay. You're in your home, it doesn't matter. Like, what matters is that you're here, you're present, you're practicing. One more breath, you got this. And then inhale back to the center, lift the left knee into your chest. Reach your arms up. Okay, straighten your left leg. Any amount, work the quad. Good, lift a little bit higher. And make a big step of your left leg back, big step. <laughs> Heel down, warrior one, exhale, hands go inside of your leg. Okay, walk to the left side of the mat, hug the right hip in. Any amount here, feel your inner thighs, release your head down, press that left thigh back, that's your anchor. Hey, like the inner thighs get really tight, maybe you've been sitting, maybe you've been like working out like crazy, so give it some love. Walk your arms back in, okay, frame your front foot, step your right leg back. Okay, take your time to vinyasa, chaturanga or just go straight to down dog. So you vinyasa, 
is yogi's choice you take it or leave it any time good moving on inhale lift the right leg up okay. exhale this time knee goes to the left triceps okay good inhale lift the left leg up exhale left triceps left okay you can stay here swing it all the way bring the weight into the right arm to so fall falling triangle bring the weight to the right arm stack your shoulders Lift your top arm over the head and then down to the floor. Okay, lift your right leg back up, three-legged. And exhale, step your foot all the way through. Back to your warrior two with molly arms. Okay, straighten your right leg, hinge forward. So we won't hold this pose, triangle pose. Hinge forward, hinge forward. Right arm down to the shin or to the floor. Stack your shoulders. Okay, so coming into half moon, bring your left hand to your left hip. You bend your right knee. Look forward, bring your block or the pinky or your fingertips to the pinky side of the foot, a foot forward. Bring the weight to the right foot, to your hand, to your block, and the flow of the back leg up. And don't forget your back leg. Like, keep it kicking. Okay? So ground the bottom foot, turn your chest up, maybe top arm reaches towards the ceiling to stack. Okay, keep breathing here. Broaden across your chest. One more breath, you got this. Look down, release the left hand down, keep the left leg lifted, hands down to the blocks or to the floor. Okay, keep the right leg, left leg lifted, take an inhale, bend your right knee, tap left knee behind the right. Inhale, reach your left leg back, and then exhale, tap. Two more, inhale, and then exhale. Last one, and then tap. Okay, bring the weight to the right heel, and then sit all the way back. So left leg behind you, right leg over the left. So you're in your tw seated twist. Right hand back, inhale, lengthen. And then exhale, hook, turn your chest toward the back of the room. Breathe here. How are you guys doing? Good. And then unwind here, back to the center. So option is just to bring your hands down to the floor, step back to your plank, the chaturanga. Or for maybe for some of you who would want to challenge yourself, like ground your hands down and think hopping back in Chaturanga, lifting your legs up, hug the elbows in, keep looking forward and shoot your legs back. Okay, inhale to your up dog, lift the chest, exhale, downward facing dog. Hips up and back. Good. We'll do the other side. All right, inhale, lift the left leg up. Okay, exhale, knee to the right, twist, inhale, lift the left leg, exhale, knee to the right, stay or swing it all the way through, okay, and then stack your shoulders, pivot your feet, lift up, okay, ground the left shoulder, lift your hips up, stay, or bring your top arm over the head, and then down to the floor, pivot your right foot up, lift the left leg up, three-legged, and then exhale, step your foot all the way through. Okay, turn the back foot down, heel down, back to your warrior two. And then straighten your left leg, hinge forward for your triangle. Open the chest. Okay, so you will keep your chest nice and open, right hand to your right hip. You bend your left knee, grab your block if you have it, otherwise pinky side of the foot, a foot forward, and then flow the back leg up for your half moon. Okay, left hip hugs in, kick the back foot, maybe stack your shoulders. If you're wobbling, that's fine. Left hip moves in. Broaden across your chest. Good. And then take an inhale. Exhale, release your right hand down to the floor. Roll the outer right hip down. Square your hips or right hip level with your left. Take an inhale and then tap your right knee behind your left. Inhale, center, kick back. And then exhale, tap. Inhale, center, reach. And then exhale. Last one, inhale, and then exhale, tap, and release down to the floor, right leg behind you, left leg over, okay? Adjust your sitting bones, left hand behind you, inhale, and then exhale, hook. Okay. Broaden your chest towards the back. Good, stay for one more breath. And then back to the center. Okay, again, option to just bring your hands down, step back, do your vinyasa, or 
Hands go down to the floor. Wrap your outer arms. Think like rounding, but reaching your heart forward. Lift your hips up. Gather everything towards the center. Aim for shooting your legs back. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Back bend. Exhale, down dog. Okay, stay down dog. Three breaths or child's pose. Okay, if you didn't get that, that's fine. It was just like a, um, a fun transition. Okay, lengthen all the way back. Good. All right, now inhale, lift your right leg up. And then exhale, step your foot all the way through. Okay, turn the back heel down, right hip back. Inhale to your warrior one. Okay, so the, the, the movements that we'll be doing are very um, similar to each other. Okay, release your right hand down and then shorten your stance right hip back and then bring your hands behind you so option is to do reverse namaste okay or hold opposite elbows key here is to keep your heart nice and open right hip back take an inhale and then exhale hinge forward okay ground the right big toe as you move your hips back and then maybe for some of you can release your head down shoulders move back like think finding a cobra in your chest hold opposite elbows <laughs> breathe one more breath good and then inhale bend your soften your front knee and then inhale come up okay and then bend your right knee and then fold forward hands down to the floor if you have your blocks you'll grab your blocks so your hands will be below of your um, shoulders okay pivot your back foot and then fold the back leg up for your warrior three legs okay stack your hip right hip above of your uh, right knee, uh, right ankle. Take an inhale here, kick the wall behind you and a twist open to the right, and then stack your shoulders above each other. Okay, good. All right, like so. Keep the back leg lifted, that's okay. Stay with me. Okay, one more breath here. And then look down, release your right hand down, step the left foot forward, okay. Soften, take an inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, fold into your breath. Inhale and lift. And then exhale, fold. Okay, ground your feet, lift all the way up. And then exhale, pumps with the heart. Okay, flowing, inhale, lift the arms up. And then exhale, fold, empty the breath. Inhale, halfway. Step or hop back to your chaturanga, take your time. Okay, or go straight to down dog. All right, as we'll do the other side, inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, knee to nose, step your foot all the way through. Okay, turn your back heel down at an angle. Okay, warrior one, facing the front side of the room. Okay, right hip forward, sink deeper. Good, so scissoring the thighs. And then release your hand down to your hips and then shorten your stance. Okay, like legs distance apart, turn your right hip forward. And then again, reverse namaste or um, do a variation of the arms. Uh, holding opposite elbows, take an inhale and exhale, fold forward. Okay. If you know that your hamstrings are really strong or tight, you can just keep the, a little bend in your left knee and work on lifting the quad up. Okay. And then open the chest, like find a back bend. Good. One more breath. Okay. And then slowly bend the left knee, inhale, come up. Okay. And then hands down, bend, hands to your hips, bend your left knee, pivot your right foot, hands down to your blocks or to the floor. Okay, I would never say on my mat. Okay, now float your right leg up, feel your left hip is on top of your left ankle. Roll the outer right hip down to the floor so your hips are leveled. Okay, good. Left hand to your left hip, move the left hip back, take an inhale and exhale, turn your chest towards the left. Okay, keep the back thigh lifted and then maybe stack your arms above each other. It's okay if they don't stack, it can stay in the hip. Okay, breathe here, broaden across your chest. Good, one more breath. Look down, release the left hand down, step your left, right foot forward. Inhale, lengthen halfway, and then exhale, fold. Okay, legs together, close each other, bend your knees to your chairs, chair pose and you sit all the way down to the floor without using your hands, all the way down. Okay, good, Be sit behind your sitting bones, hands behind the knees, 
Lift your chest up. Okay. Lift the legs. <laughs> Reach your arms forward. Okay. Take an inhale and exhale. Release your back down to the floor. Chest lifted, legs lifted. Inhale back up. Back to your boat. Exhale, hinge back. Okay, last time, inhale. Keep your heart lifted, spine long. Exhale, release, hold, extra breath. And then release down to the floor. Hug your knees into your chest. All right. Now, bring your knees above of your, um, bring yourself to the tabletop legs. So knees above of your hips. Shins are parallel to the floor. Hands underneath your head. Elbows out to the sides. Lift your chest and your head up. Okay. Lift your shoulder blades away from the floor. Exhale, twist to your right. Release your left leg forward. So the right knee stays above of the hip. It's not going near to your chest. Inhale, center. Twist to the other side. Reach your right leg. Twist. Inhale, center. Twist to the right. Inhale, center. Twist to the left. So make that straight leg nice and active as you twist. And you're not pushing your head here. Your head is resting to your hands. You're using your core, your mid-back to lift up your oblique muscles. Good. Keep going. 100 more times. <laughs> Good. And if you feel burned, you're doing great. If not, like keep going. If you need to take breaks in between, do that. Give me three more on each side. Good. Legs don't go near. They stay where they are. One more. Good. Center and hug your knees into your chest. Release the face. Any tension in your jaw and your face, let it go. Let's breathe together. Take a big inhale. And then exhale, sigh. Good. Reach your legs up to the ceiling. This is now for your lower belly. Okay. So arms across the body. We did this last week. We'll do it again. Okay. So across your body. Okay. And you try to make pulses of your hips. So you lift your legs up, 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 up. With no swinging of your legs. So try not to use momentum here. So you're using your, just your lower belly cores. It doesn't matter if it just lifts half an inch or even a fourth. That's okay. Keep going. Know that you're isolating the work in your lower belly. So your legs don't move forward and up. Forward and back is just like up, 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 up. And trust me that you get better at this as you keep doing. Okay. Good. Ten more. All good. Five, four, three, two, one. Great. Uh, release. Relax your shoulders. Good. And the feet down to the floor. Okay. Relax. And then prepare yourself for bridge. So opening up after that um, core work. Release your arms to the sides. Feet are hip width apart. A little bit closer toward the buttocks. Ground your feet as you inhale, lift up. Okay, you can, any variation of the arms, robot arms or arms underneath you, interlace, press your upper arms down to the floor so you can lift your hips up. So Troy is doing robot arms. So the key here in your um, bridges would be lengthening the tailbone towards the back of the knees. Okay. Rounding the heels down to the floor, inner thighs roll down to the floor. And the think bring your chest towards your chin, broaden it across your chest. Good. Stay for one more breath. And then tone the belly as you lower your hips. Okay, lower. All right. The second round, okay, for those of you who, are, who already practice Urvadhanurasana or upward facing bow pose, okay, you will place your hands to the sides of the ears and then hug the elbows in as you lift up, okay? Otherwise, okay, you ground your hands down to the floor and lift your hips up. So just do bridge. <laughs> bridge. Arms by the side of the or just do bridge and we'll add legs. Okay, inhale, lift up. Good. So you can stay here for those doing Urbhadarasana upward 
bow pose, go, go for it. Okay, for those doing bridge, like an add-on, we'll be lifting the right leg up, grounding your left foot. Good. Okay, open the heart, breathe, lift the leg, release your right foot down. Ground the right foot, lift the left leg up. Good, chest lifted. Good, stay with it, one more breath. And then exhale, lower your leg down. Try to shaking, so you must be shaking too. Like, oh, totally fine. Tone the belly as you lower down. Okay, knock the knees together. Separate the feet. Reach your arms up over your head or any variation of the arms where you feel good. Windshield wiper your knees. Move them side to side. Okay, and then back to the center. Okay, and then hug the knees into your chest. If you need to make circles with it, go ahead or otherwise just stay. And then hands behind the knees. Now you'll rock forward and up until you're seated. Good. All right. Okay, bring yourself to down dog. And if you want to do one more round of vinyasa, please go ahead and do that. Or just like stay in down dog. And again, feeling your body. If you want to do a vinyasa, go ahead. So um, during this time where we actually move our bodies, it helps us to be focused and be present by feeling your breath, by connecting with your breath and your body. So even just like simple movements doesn't have to be very complicated. It's already um, beneficial for your physical well-being, also your mental and emotional well-being. So. Um, Lower your knees down to the floor, child's pose. Couple of breaths here. And then walk your arms back in. Okay, and sit on your heels. And then one buttock to the side, one buttock to the side, reach your legs forward. All right. And just like bring your hands underneath your knees. And then help your knees to move out to the sides for bound angle pose, Baddha Konasana. Okay, lift your chest up. And then exhale, you fold forward here. You can move your feet further forward if this is too much for the hips. And then just encourage uh, the spine to surrender down to the floor. Let your head be heavy. So at this point, let gravity do its work. Okay. Let your shoulders melt down. So just notice if you create a lot of tension in your shoulders or you like you tense them um, during the practice. So allow just to melt down like feel the sensations but at the same time like really let the earth like do its work for you okay a couple more breaths here start to soften your breathing too and then slowly lift yourself back up okay help your knees to move back into the center release your legs forward and again we will lie down on our backs Okay, reach your arms forward and you will lie down as slowly as you can. Okay, bring your right knee into your chest. Okay, reach your right arm to the side and twist to the right. Okay. Good. And then while you're here, like since we're coming into our Shavasana, Keep the right shoulder nice and open. The right hip release by allowing your top leg to release. And notice if you're like forcing this pose to, can you actually um, let it, like allow yourself to just go deeper into the pose. And then inhale back to the center. And then release your leg down, and then we'll do the other side, left knee into your chest, cross it over. Good. Let the left shoulder be heavy at this time. Breathe, start to soften your breath. And then inhale back to the center. And then both knees into your chest and happy baby pose. So grab the outside edges of the feet. Okay, good. And rock side to side. 
And if you want to like really straighten your legs, do that. Like open your legs as wide as you want. And good. And then you can be steady here or um, really allow the body to open or rock. And then back to the center. Okay, and then just like keep your legs hanging. Like let the legs plug back into the socket. Okay, so if you need to bend the knees, you bend the knees. So like you're not really working your legs here. Like find that spot where they're just hanging. And reach your arms up towards the ceiling and let your arms plug back into the socket too. So they're just really dangling there. You're not reaching them. You're not engaging them. And then just find circles here. Okay, and your wrists and your arms. start to soften your breath and then shake off any tension left in your body okay and then slowly release your arms and your legs to your shavasana your final resting pose okay let your arms melt down like in this time find a really comfortable position like where your arms can release especially your shoulders find a relaxing position of your legs so um we're we're like um, cutting short a little bit uh, of our time so that to make sure that Instagram it's it's able to capture everything. So um, so Troy li likes to stack her his legs, so we'll do that and start to soften your legs down to the floor. Let your face start to relax. Well, I change the music. Um, so really, let your body be really comfortable and. If it's comfortable, then it can start to uh, also quiet the brain, the mind. So take the time to actually like scan from the crown all the way to your toes. If you're still carrying a necessary tension there. And then can you actually let that go in your next exhale? Sometimes we carry attention without us knowing so take this time to really pay attention to your body and simply allow the earth underneath you to support you you don't have to do anything right now you simply be this moment is given to you to relax to really melt down on your mat so allow it allow it and any tension in your thoughts just let it float and really rest and heal in your shavasana
really start to bring yourself back to the room, back to your breath. If you want to stay in your, in your Shavasana, please feel free to do that. And this is really the time for you to rest, like physically and mentally. Just allow it to listen to your body. If you're coming up, start to bring your arms up over your head and give yourself a stretch, reach your legs forward. If you, as if you just woke up. Okay, and turn to one side, rest your head on your upper arm as you turn to one side, like in fetal position. Okay, let the head be heavy, let your shoulders be heavy. Again, keep your eyes closed as you push your hands down and bring yourself up to a comfortable seat, just like how we started. Close the eyes if that feels comfortable to you. Just feel your breath, feel your body, and feel the change you've created for yourself. Okay, bring the palms together in front of your heart. Let's breathe together. Take a big inhale through your nose. And exhale, sigh it out. Do one more time, deep breath in. On your exhale, bow your head down towards your rising heart. And find that sense of gratitude for showing up today in your practice to move, to stay present, and to really take care of yourself. And I thank you for sharing your time and your awesome energy with me. May the light in me honor the light in you. Okay, let's greet each other. Namaste. Thank you, everyone. Again, um, I really appreciate you showing up today. I um, know that in Instagram, you can like watch it for the next 24 hours. Um, I had to shorten it to make sure that it doesn't cut, cut off. Like, please take care of yourselves, like physically, mentally. Um, practice as much as you can. Um, you can go to the Facebook and access it like uh, forever um hopefully and again um much gratitude for you to, for showing up in your practice for showing up in the world when you know that you're taking care of yourself and you're able to take care of other people too so thank you so much for showing up okay bye have a great day have a great evening namaste thank you karen And, and then, how do I do that? Yeah, and now. And, and then.